This is the most difficult elite boss that I have faced in a very, very long time and Ninja Kiwi is no longer messing around. So they put the elite Dread Balloon on half cash, which I guess they heard it was the community's favorite game mode. So they were like, sure, let's make these guys happy and let's just give them a boss on half cash. But all jokes aside, this is not a, this is not a funny wig. I mean, this is actually difficult. So first off, let's just quickly go through the modifiers. We have no Ben and no Giralos so and no farming heroes. And they also were kind enough to remove stuff like, I don't, I don't know who uses the Melpat farms but i definitely know who uses this thing the the monkeyopolis so no monkeyopolis but then they kind of reduce the boss health by a little bit so that might be a little helpful for us so first off let's go for a brf which is eventually going to become a banana central that's like that's like the central thing to this whole strategy let's buy a cleansing foam which is going to become the overclock let's have it like this and then for the heroes i brought gwen because of her heated up actually which now has a very constant uptime and it pairs very well with a tower that's amazing on this map and it's actually amazing versus dread balloon and that is the tag zone and actually the overdrives so let's buy a uh, rubber to gold alchemist actually the left to gold and the rubber to gold you want to have it set on close and then eventually because this boss is super slow and that actually plays to our advantage because it, he's gonna take a long while until he reaches our defenses and that's just more time for us to farm so let me just try and fit i think i saw the spot like for oh uh, there we go so we found one more spot let's just buy one more and then maybe one more zero to three but that's gonna be about it and yeah so let's actually do this let's first First off, buy uh, this thing. This is gonna be. I think I'm just gonna hold out with the with the cannon ship. This is gonna be like a two three zero. The idea is that this thing deals with the primary immunity, and then eventually we just let me just buy the overdrive now. By the way, and eventually you know we deal with everything with uh, with the overdrive uh, buffed by Gwen and the heated up. So uh, let's just see how this thing is gonna go. So let's actually do this. Let me sell this thing. Let's build one of the marketplaces so we buy the overclock. I think this is actually worth it if we start overclocking the BRF kind of soonish. So let's go like this. Let's hook this thing up to. The tech bot and this is around 49 i'm gonna use the cocktail actually so we get rid of these guys as fast as possible and do we need to buy the monkey pirates is my question i really hope the answer to that is no you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do it let's just get rid of these small balloons let's just win this thing let's just get this thing out of the way as soon as possible and uh, as soon as uh maybe we can it's gonna be a mob i want to hook it but yeah it's completely fine okay so let's sell this thing we do have the overdrive like this uh, let's buy a 320 alchemist and I think only is this gonna be enough by the way I hope it is is it dealing with the rock balloons? that's my question because that's the most annoying part of this so let's buy something like a 300 village up top and this is just all on Gwen's heated up at this point guys I really don't think as long as the heated up is up which by the way they improved the uptime on it so I think that it should be fine in general but it's it's who is dealing with the rock balloons. that's the main question right look at these guys at the bottom just surviving yeah we're probably gonna need an ice so let me just buy it let's just get something like a 410 ice just to speed things up let me buy a uh, let's go like this let's buy a favorite trades boat so that we can sell these guys and make some money actually while we're selling them and this is round 52 and we're still oh my god we're just not dealing with the boss this <laughs> This thing is not going too fast, is it? And that's gonna be the tier one. Is all yeah, all the star is off, and let's just kind of recalibrate our defenses after this round is done because we have a lot of work to do. All right, so let's sell the ice. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep this alchemist because it's a three two zero. I'm gonna keep everything else basically. Our camera detection is a zero four one <laughs> overclock, which has the cleansing foam over here, and let's just keep buying up these bomb pad farms. So let's go like this. For now, here's how the plan looks like. I'm gonna try and greed out one more of these central markets, and then this next year, surprisingly you can deal with it because i've already tried this thing and you can actually deal it with the tag zone because the tag zone is that good and honestly the hp on the boss has been reduced by like by like 60 percent so uh you can actually go through this one no problem so i actually agree that <laughs> and i bought four of these central markets uh and i i don't know if i'm going for five because this is like fifteen thousand dollars probably not greeting it out right let me just see where is the range on this thing it's gonna be about here because i do want to sell the ninja uh, in the range of the favorite trade so let's just not mess it up let's just get the sticky get the damage going onto this thing and then when the primary immunity is gone we're gonna buy the tag zone you know what i'm gonna greet it out let's buy <laughs> let's buy the last central market i know i know let's just buy it and then we're gonna sell the ninja and hopefully we don't have to sell anything else for the tag zone and this right here is the exact reason why i brought gwen because gwen uh, now if you guys have read the latest patch notes i did a video on this but basically she can sustain the heated up basically 100 later on but it's it's huge uptime even like in these early levels so this is just like gwen is just the perfect hero for this one uh and let's just so this thing is gonna pop in a second so let's sell the ninja and we are at seventeen thousand dollars. oh my god i'm missing a thousand dollars okay let's use a cocktail so that we don't lose and bam there goes the tag zone we can also manually trigger the uh, the heated up by using 
increasing the level 10 ability so i'm kind of watching the little gwen icon and as soon as it disappears i'm going to trigger it manually so that we can do some damage to it and then hopefully the automatic one should pick up and how is this how are we looking i think we're looking fine actually we're probably oh, we're probably gonna need something like an umbrella ice right let's just speed things up let's just get one just like a 410 ice and again these rock balloons oh my god man these rock balloons are gonna be at the end of me i swear this boss event is like i think that the fact that there are rock balloons in this boss event it just makes it like like 50 percent more difficult because it's just so annoying to deal with them. so as soon as this one pops i just trigger this thing manually one last time and that's gonna be the tier two and i think all the start is still off yeah there we go so after this run ends we're gonna need to recalibrate our farming Okay, so here's what we do. Uh, we're gonna need to sell the ice. We're gonna sell the tag zone because we don't need that much firepower to defend. Actually, only a, a 204 overdrive is enough, so we save some money there. And then let me just sell how many of these guys. Yeah, we need to sell, like, we, we didn't sell all of them. That's really good. This guy is getting overclocked. And then I'm just gonna go for the, we bought the banana essential. This thing is getting overclocked by the overclock that we bought, like, a very long time ago. And then I'm just gonna go for a monkey town into a monkey city. And then I'm just gonna keep spamming 4 to 0 farm. All right, so tier three, here is the plan for this one. We need to start things off with the mat and eventually go into a dark paragon. And actually, I know that we have to go for a dark paragon because I found that one the hard way. <laughs> so the first time I played through this thing, I was thinking that we could probably get away with a tank zone. And the reality is that those rock balloons are just way too strong. That's kind of the problem. I mean, the tank zone probably with a bunch of buffs can deal with the boss by itself. So yeah, after this round ends, or maybe during this round, actually, just check on the money collection. We are at 56. 759 oh we're barely there actually you know what i can just sell this guy because he's not making too much cash so let's buy the mat and the mat is gonna slowly start chipping away at this thing and we need to get ready for the dark paragon actually and i want to buy this thing oh where can i get some i think it's gonna go on the bottom side so let's just sell this thing as well i want to buy all these guys in the range of a discount village i do actually have the mat pointing towards the back because i don't want it proccing this thing yet let's let's actually turn it back now because the boss is gonna turn around so because i'm buying the dark paragon here at the bottom uh i don't think it's gonna reach up top right it's it's just gonna be outside of its range so we might as well make a little bit of extra cash right so uh, as it's turning back let's just turn back the mat on this side let's use the ability and it is time guys so as soon as this thing is gone let's sell the mat let's buy the the tier five so let's see how we're doing with the cash these rock balloons have spawned so let's see how much <laughs> we're gonna need to destroy our economy that's the question ng 148 i'm gonna sell the alchemist and bam we have the money okay so this is gonna, just gonna be like a degree one dart but this is all we need we don't need anything else and we didn't destroy our economy that much that's really good let's just keep placing these farms while we're at this and then eventually when we're done with this tier uh, we're gonna sell the dark paragon as well which is gonna be like a nice uh, cash injection of like 125,000. but yeah this degree one dark paragon is it's a very small degree but it's enough uh, for the tier 3 and actually because the HP has been reduced by a lot it just works so yeah let's just deal with this thing is all the start yeah all the start is off so let's just fix our economy after this thing okay so let's sell the dark paragon we're gonna keep the defending setup as it is because these guys are way too strong I'm gonna rebuy the 300 alchemist and I'm gonna spend all of our remaining cash onto buying just four to can I fit I think for one more over here yeah there we go I'm gonna spend all this our cash into buying just four to zero farms I'm gonna try and fit as many of them as possible here in the middle and i'm gonna see you guys for the tier four in a second and this is it the tier four incoming so let me just get the mat i'm gonna overclock the mat and i'm gonna hook the overclock to a tech bot and yeah this man has the <laughs> most difficult job ever which is to get rid of the primary immunity by itself i know it's super slow but actually that's a little bit of time for us to uh to just get honestly to just get some farming going and then we're gonna go into a paragon i think it's gonna be the dark paragon as well you know what let's actually go for something like this let's go for the glaive board i tried twice by the way i failed twice with the tank zone that's why i'm buying this thing by the way and we just took down the primary immunity so it is time guys it is time to destroy our defenses so let's buy this thing the glaive dominance two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. i bought a bunch of these zero two three so that i could sell them and let's see how much oh yeah we're gonna need to destroy our farming by a lot let's just see by how much it's gonna be i'm also ready with uh let's just go like this yeah that should be more than enough let's just it's gonna be like a degree what 27 i think i saw and yeah this thing should defeat the boss by itself we 
didn't destroy it too much, but yeah, it was it was a huge damage <laughs> that our farming took. But thankfully, this is going to defeat the tier 4 by itself. And then we are going to have a little bit of time to rebuild our defenses and then just get ready for the tier 5. And this is just one, one boss fight. I'm going to tell you guys that much. This is unlike anything that I've seen in a very long time in BT6. But yeah, there goes the boss. So we are at round 113. Is also, yeah, all star is off. And so I'm kind of contemplating where I, or not I should sell this boomerang paragon. And honestly, I think I should because we can make way more than this money. All right, so this is the tier five, the last one. This is the most difficult one out of all of them. And I was thinking of dealing with this thing with the sub paragon and the boomer. So let's see how this is going to work out. We do have a little bit of time to let these farm just, you know, make a little bit of extra cash. And that's exactly what I'm doing, by the way. I have all these boomerangs ready, which we're going to sacrifice. And eventually at some point, we're just going to need to sell all these guys. We have up to round 140 to deal with this thing. So I'm just letting these farms make a little bit of extra cash. And this should be about it, guys. So we waited a little bit so that these guys can make some extra cash. But it's time for us to start selling these farms. I think it's around 129. So we kind of need to let ourselves, you know, have a little bit of time to, to defeat the boss. So let's buy this thing. Let's get the, the sub, which is a degree 13. I think that's that's fair. That's fine. And let's sell all of these. Do we want to sell them now? Do we want to kind of let them produce a little bit? Because the boomerang apparently is not doing any damage. So just kind of wait, actually, just a tiny bit amount before selling these other farms. And that is the primary unit. So it is time. Let's just sell all of our other towers. And I hope the math is correct. I think it is. Glaive Dominus. Let's buy this thing. And degree 40 should be fine. Should be okay. Let's get the glue strike. Uh, we have a 4 1. Let's make it a 4 2 0 ice here on the side. Let's use the ability. And guys, this is it. I really hope we can even sell this thing. Okay, never mind. Let's just sell that thing for the uh, for the glue storm. And then we have we have a thousand dollars left. Oh my god, this boss. Is this gonna be enough to defeat this whole thing? I think it is because the second that we deal with the military immunity, both of them are gonna be able to attack until the end, no problem. So I think this is gonna be fine. Uh, we can also launch the ability, but let's just make sure. Yeah, there we go. So the military immunity is gone, and let's just launch the nuke ability. And I think the that we actually have this thing there we go the new clan that you can see the little green radioactive matter and finally i think that we are going to do this and guys this was this was a boss and a half let me just like buy one more brilliant ice for the end and yeah this was this was one hell of a boss I, I can tell you that much it was a lot more difficult than i expected but we got it done at the end round 135 that's probably the latest <laughs> that i've ever popped an elite boss and there we go that is the elite boss the the elite half casual Red Bloon, which was just an uh, just a menace to deal with. I'm gonna be honest, but you guys know that I enjoy stuff like this. <laughs> So even if it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit difficult to get through this thing. We get it done and this is how we did it. So yeah, that's going to be for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck on your runs. I'm going to see you in the next one.